Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome to the Spiritual Sense Weekly Collective Tarot Reading. This is a reading for August 21st to August 27th. Thank you guys so much for being here. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And um, these are short weekly readings that I have started doing um, a few months ago. And basically that can resonate with you now or a few weeks from now or into the future and please take whatever resonates with you and anything else that doesn't resonate just let that part let that portion go um just listen to your intuitive guidance as these messages are coming through through the cards i've already pulled the cards and we're gonna go ahead and begin so there is something happening between now and the next solar eclipse which is on october 14th you are actually in a very sensitive potent time where anything that you think that you feel and that you already intuitively know is going to be potentially happening and you already know that there's things that are going to be changes going to be happening in your life and these changes um in this time that is so sensitive the universe is listening to your messages with the temperance card um here you um need to watch what you wish for because you just might get it and the queen of cups here is basically you know showing you that you do have these magical gifts within you these intuitive gifts and because at times they these you know let's say clairvoyance or clairaudience or clairsentience you know these feelings that you get about things that are going to be happening they used to kind of take control of you and drag you from one end to the other, kind of like the storm that takes you from one rock to the other and kind of makes you feel like kind of very emotionally beat up. Well, that is not happening anymore. You are coming into the kind of mastery of the King of Swords here, mastery of your intuitive gifts, where you are not letting these things, these sensitivities, um, you're not letting them drag you. You're not letting them take control of you. You are, your consciousness, your higher self is in control of them. And that doesn't mean it's negative control. It just means that you are becoming the observer of these gifts, becoming the observer of your thoughts. You're becoming more divinely guided and more in tune between two worlds, the 3D, the temptations of the world, and then also the higher higher realms, the 5D, the higher self. Um, you may have been going through extremely hard times, tough times, and now you're coming back into yourself to realize that everything happens for some reason, for some evolution, some growth for your own self. Um, the watching clouds, lie back, rest, and relax. So at this time between now and October 14th, Take time to tune in, take time to let go of distractions of the world and see what messages are coming through from your own guidance, from your own higher self. Otherwise, you can get really thrown off into the crazy waters of the this crazy world. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Um, and this support can come in the form of spirit guides from your families and ancestors that are on the other side watch for the feathers, watch for the spirit animals that come to guide you, watch for the words of, words of strangers that may say something that will trigger some kind of knowing within you. And these messages can come from people in your life, from new people, strangers that talk to you in the grocery store. Just be cognizant that these messages can come from here and now, from the conscious and also from your subconscious, if they can come through your dreams. Be very watchful. This is a time of observation. This is a time to be highly conscious, as I said in the beginning, of the words, of the thoughts, of the beliefs you've had, because it is very open portal of time where anything can happen and any beliefs that you have can create these new realities for you. Um, and when you do all of this, like the valiant courage, take action with passion. This is a time to be focusing on yourself, to not hold back anymore. If there's something that you want, have been wanting to do, um, if there's a place you wanted to see, this is the time to plan and do it and take action with passion. Listen to what ignites your soul and 
take these small steps that can guide you there. Um, this card of the Realm Bringer from the um, Beyond Lemuria guidebook from the Tarot Oracle of Beyond Lemuria, you are here to bridge. You are here to bring something that has never been brought before and not repeat what everybody else is regurgitating in the spiritual world or in the 3 year world, whatever it may be that you're bringing. Um, spiritual world is not just, you know, doing tarot and it's bringing, bringing into the 3D, bringing it into wherever you work, into the corporate world. It doesn't matter where you work. Your higher self is your own guidance. And when you put your soul into what you love to do, don't let anybody shame you into thinking that, you know, you have to completely like leave the matrix and do these. Only the spiritual stuff is the real stuff. It is not. You are here to literally bring consciousness into the unconscious parts of any area, any industry, any kind of work that you are passionate about. So when you're passionate about something, don't listen to what every, everybody out there is creating conditioning. In the spiritual world, they're creating conditioning that you should be doing this, you should be doing that. No, you should be listening to what your own inner guidance system is telling you. And this card here is bringing forth Watcher, who is out there watching this right now? You um, may be the person that is bringing this bridging the 3D with the 5D into wherever you are. And that work is so important. If we all unplug and we all live in the woods and sing Kumbaya on the fire and whatever, that is ignoring the actual reality that we are here to bring consciousness into the most unconscious, into the most hardest realities here in the world whether they mean government business whatever it may be um so just know and it doesn't have to be you know cre you know for me it's bringing creative ideas for example into world that don't exist yet um bringing ideas from my dreams into the world so listen to your own guidance system that's what i'm trying to say it's the all the entire spectrum listen to the, your own guidance system and the entire spectrum of the working world and what work brings your passion what work what work fires you up it doesn't feel like work and you are here to bridge that reality to bring and bring consciousness bring beauty into whatever you may be doing the mask the mo the mask is actually has the benefit so when you are this mask is not about you know your mask falling off it's actually when you're going into something new that you've never done before you have to let go of the old you you have to actually take on a mask of a new personality you have to become this person you always wanted to be and like they say fake it until you make it so that is the thing that is telling you who is the person visualize the person that you want to be doing the thing that you want to be being in a place that you want to be who are you in that realm a year from now let's say or five years whatever it may be for you who are you in that area what are you doing what are you feeling feel like you are that person already that mask everybody's here actually the the world is your stage the world like the leo right now the world is your stage to you to be and to love whatever you want to be and express it out into the world um and then the other card of the archetype is the offering so what are you here to offer you are so you have to let something down. you have to put something down you have been carrying something that is not yours has been given to you from from maybe from ancestors maybe given from ancestors to heal something that you have been carrying that needs to be healed and you already know this if you're honest with yourself and this honesty card is coming up the only person you'd be honest is with yourself i know a lot of times people will you know be brutally honest with others and then you know kind of bring those people will feel really like kind of hurt because they've had these like utopian um imaginations of themselves but what you need to do is remember that you are here to be your authentic self be honest with yourself first and then when you're honest with the people be honest in a very great graceful manner um and when you're asked some people don't want you to be honest with them so don't put your energy into something that is not 
going to bring you joy and it's not going to further them into their own reality because they're so stuck in their lies that they would want them to be torn down. So only help those that are asking you for the invitation to actually bring your honesty and also be your honest self, you know, listen to your own guidance system and um, be honest with yourself and be honest where you need to be and, fo and focus on yourself. So this offering here is literally telling you what can you put down so that your world feels kind of lighter what are you here what kind of gift can you give to the person so when you think about being honest think about that honesty being a gift to the person how can you package it up in a way that is your authentic self and it's also awakening their authentic self as well um i really love this card so much so i'm gonna close it with reading out the offering card Unlike many of the other cards in the deck, the offering carries a clear as day message and a call to action. As you may have guessed, it's time for something to be given up or to be given for the sake of the bigger picture. If nothing comes to mind immediately, though it's likely it will, take time in meditation to consider what must be offered and who is to receive it. It's likely you'll feel attachment and hesitancy. You'll make excuses but recognize the link between the word sacrifice and the word sacred. So there it is again, it's the bridging of the two opposites, like the, the sacrifice and the sacred. One leads to the other. When we offer up something to the greater good, we lighten up our load and become more able to serve. Imagine for a moment if you were to offer your whole self unconditionally to the world. For now, start small. So there it is, like this, this realm bridger you know it's bridging the mask with the offering and letting something down letting something go um sacrificing something for to get something sacred you know it's bridging the 3d with the higher um realms it's um bridging the divine masculine with the divine feminine it's knowing of the devil parts of our society of our own selves and knowing of the good parts of ourselves and knowing that both exist with all of it with all of us and knowing to be conscious within ourselves because every single day not just now that i'm saying about this um the eclipse that's coming up we're always creating our realities with our thoughts with our beliefs and with the way of our being with how we share ourselves with the others take care of your own physical vessel meditate um, set time to take care of your body, mind, and soul, and know that what you're feeling is happening, it might be happening already, and you already have all the intuitive gifts that you've ever wanted to have. It's just a matter of tuning down the noise and setting time for yourself to listen to your guidance from your inner self and listen to the support you're receiving from the spirit realms from the spirit guides around you and from the people in your life even strangers um it's interesting how all of us all of this reality is so alive everything is alive nothing is dead and there's messages in everything all around you so just appreciate that beauty of life and wherever it may take you um, be grateful for it because every day is such a gift to be here. Um, and thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. If you're not, not already following, please follow, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, um, Instagram, and TikTok as well. And I thank you so much for being here and hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you.